Hello guys, do you know that there are institutions in the UK providing full funding for both masters and PhD? Yes, they cover your fees, your tuition fees, with a stipend of over £20,000, as you can see here. And they are at several participating universities. So meaning that there are multiple universities participating in this scholarship. And that's not all. When you scroll down a little bit, it's for either those planning to take a PhD that's the 3.5 years, or those who are planning to take both a master's and a PhD. And there you have the 4.5 years. So master's followed by a PhD. So if you have a bachelor's, you go through this route, 4.5. If you already have a master's, you go through this route, um, 3.5. And I'll be showing you how to apply for this scholarship step by step, so do not worry. And even many more of these kinds of scholarships are coming your way in the UK. So welcome to my YouTube channel. It is Victor once again. It is another day and we have another scholarship. If you're joining us for the first time, you're welcome, but where have you been? There are lots of videos already on this YouTube channel on fully funded scholarships from around the world. So look around. I'm sure you'll find something that catches your interest. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Thanks for the constant support. And I hope you find the scholarship sooner than later. So let's go into the video of today. The awarding institution is known as SENSE, and it is an acronym for South and East Network for Social Sciences. So this body provides funding to both home and international students looking to study for free in the UK. And as you can see, it's fully funded and you get your stipend covered, you get your your um your full fees will be paid as well and it's both for home and international applicants so do not worry although there'll be more spots for home students than international students which is okay but then international students can apply and they get full funding full um tuition covered competitive yes impossible no so let's move forward so this is the breakdown i told you about in the intro so 3.5 for PhD, 4.5 master's plus PhD. So it's good for everybody. So do you have just a bachelor's? Apply for the 4.5. Do you have a master's already? Apply for the 3.5. So it shows what it covers, everything covered. Do not worry. Through and through. You wouldn't have to pay any fees, anything, everything covered. So who is eligible? Everybody's eligible. Everybody's eligible to apply. And then as you would notice soon, this scholarship, this SENSE scholarship, has several areas of expertise. So, and I'll be showing you the areas of expertise um, shortly. And then the participating universities. There are eight SENSE universities. So it means these are the universities you apply through. And I'll be showing you these universities shortly. So for the applications requirement, if you're applying for the 4.5 you need a bachelor's degree and if you're applying for the 3.5 you need a master's degree there's also um, an FAQ section here where you can get most um, information and then this one is very important about supervisor you have to get a supervisor in one of the participating universities so you have to send them an email and say oh this is my research question this is what I intend to do since you work in the same area, are you um, open to support my application? So you need a supervisor. But then it is not clear if those applying for the 4.5 also need a supervisor. And that is what you can clarify on your own. So remember the 4.5 we saw earlier? That's 4.5. Remember you're applying for a master's. Do you also need a supervisor? Because usually in the UK, if you're applying for a master's, you don't need to contact a supervisor. But remember, you're not applying for the master's alone. It has to be followed by a PhD. So that's where the, the nuance comes in. So do you also have to apply for a supervisor or look for a supervisor? This is the question you can ask them directly. And I'll show you where to get the email address where you can ask these kinds of questions. Now you have a bachelor's, you're going for the 4.5 you also need to look for a supervisor 
Okay, I talked about the participating universities earlier. So these are, let me make it bolder. These are the participating universities. You have City St. George, University of London, Cranfield, University of East Anglia, Essex, Goldsmith, University of London, University of Lincoln, Middlesex, and then Roehampton. So let's say we're looking for a position, and I think you're only um, permitted to apply to one of these universities for this scholarship, if I'm not mistaken. But you can check the FAQ section just to make sure. So let's, let's say I'm applying to East Anglia, for instance. So I've clicked on this link, I've gone to East Anglia website, and then I'll go to the search bar here, and I'll type sense. I think it's already here, sense. It's already there because I typed it earlier. That makes sense. Yours will probably be vacant. So sense, remember it's double S. And then let's see the different suggestions. Okay. Nothing useful is coming out yet. Let me just put sense here. Let's see what comes out. Okay, something has come out. So this is sense at a stand there. And then if you check the application requirements, they often tell you that you apply differently to the department and apply differently for the scholarship. But first start with the department or the university and then move to the scholarship. So this is the university that we are in now. So look for the information and then open in October. I think the deadline is in December or so. The, so the deadline to apply to this university if you're interested in this scholarship is December. Why the deadline to apply for the scholarship is in January. So it shows you that there's a two-way application process. Apply to the university, apply to the um, scholarship. So let's get more details. Let's get more. So at this university, these are the areas they prioritize. The business school, the school of economics, school of education, um, global development, law, psychology, social work, media and um, language, um, communication, school of environmental sciences. Then you scroll down a little. Application requirements, very similar to what we saw earlier. And then the funding as well, very similar to what we saw earlier. And then how to apply. You must contact the potential supervisor before the deadline. I think you should contact them on time. So you're able to like clarify with them and not, do not wait till because they said the deadline is in December. Wait till December before you, before you contact your supervisor. You can do that now. For those applying for a master's, you also ensure to submit your application on time. So what they do not say is that, do you need to contact a supervisor as well if you're applying for the master's um, route? That's the 4.5 um, scholarship um, duration. Do you need that as well? I think you can send them an email here if that's your case. That, oh, I'm applying for the 4.5 percent studentship. And I wish to ask if I also need to look for a supervisor or not. Is this just for those applying for the 3.5 that's a PhD only? So it's very important. So they said apply for a place at the university first and make sure you apply before the deadline. And then a separate application to the SENSE website. The deadline is the 14th of January. And I think you need, it's, I don't even think it's there, a supporting statement from your supervisor before the deadline. So I think you have to attach that supporting statement to your SENSE application. If that makes sense. Yeah. So it means you have to go to any of these departments and depending on where, of course, your area of specialization and then look for how to apply for, let's say I'm applying for the PhD course. So I'll look for postgraduates and see what comes up. So these are the postgraduate courses. These are the MA courses. Let me try to look for the PhD courses. So, of course, when you look at this, I've told you to clarify whether you need a supervisor or not for a master's. If they say you do not need a supervisor, then you can apply directly. Check what they are all about. And then apply and then return to um, the sense application page as well and also apply there. This is what they're all about. 
can check here for applications requirements and the rest of them. Entry requirements for international students. They even accepted two two as you can see. And I think the English language waiver. If you already studied in the English language, don't worry, you can get a waiver. But let's run back to let's go back to a PhD. Let's see if we can get a PhD programs. Okay. So these are the areas they specialize in for a PhD program. And then I think these are the um, supervisors available to supervise you. This is a Nigerian name. Let me check it out. Let me see. I don't know if this is a supervisor or a student who study here. Okay, I think it's a scholar. Good. So I'm looking for one of the um, supervisors. The science scholarship once again was mentioned here. So I'll go down here and see if I can get some of the academics. So those will send our emails to. Um, those will send the so okay let's study with us let's see if i can find some of the faculty yeah people so this is its people let's go back there so it means you check here and find the academic that works in your area of interest. And if you find them, send in an email, tell them that you intend to apply for the SENSE scholarship. You can send them a link to that scholarship as well. I'll tell them the route through which you're applying for. And show them your research question. I would put, probably put a link in the description box to show you how to apply for this. How to contact a supervisor. Having said that, let's go back to the sense website where you can get more information let me just go to the thematic areas to the themes so these are the themes they prioritize these words in bold letters demography area studies economics um, human geography um, environmental planning and the rest of them psychology i think there's a lot of health as well health related courses as well i think social work is also there yeah, social work is there so like a summary of the of the area of interest health and well-being And there are also names of scholars working on this area. So it's a good place to also find supervisors. So what if your area of interest is not here? So what if, like you're in engineering, mathematics, what do you do? Well, the good news is that there are lots of scholarships like this in the UK. This um, 3.5 or 4.5 scholarships. So you can just go to Google and type 3.5 studentship. And then there are lots of opportunities. There are different kinds. And you can even put behind it your area of interest, maybe engineering or something. And then you might get examples of, you can see PhD Studentship School of Engineering. So check whether it's still open, check when it is opening, check your area. You can see this one. They won't say there's an, is a deadline in November. So please check. It's for different fields, different areas of interest. This is at Brighton University. One plus 3.5. That's the, the one there is the master's. Master's plus 3.5. That's a PhD. 
there's a standalone. I don't know if you can see this clearly. Masters, PhD programs, and then you have your standalone PhD programs. Okay, I'm leaving you with good information now. What you just need to do is to dig up what is relevant to you. You want to be a researcher, right? Now it is your time to unearth this information relevant to you. So hopefully you find something in your area of interest and then start applying as soon as you can and try to meet the deadlines as well. So as usual guys, we cannot wait to celebrate you. It is fully funded. Masters and PhD at the UK covers your tuition, living expenses, either the 3.5 or 4.5 um, route. As usual guys, I cannot wait to celebrate you. So get to work and I'll see you at the top sooner than later. Bye-bye for now and do not, do not forget to subscribe. Cheers.